on the planet moon, and men would walk there. It looked like it pretty odd. Awesome. But on July the 21st, in 1969, a man by the name of Neil Armstrong planted the first human uh, step, the first human foot on the moon. And if we could have that image, that would be really helpful. And his famous words were, one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It's an incredible story that he told in 1950 or even 1960, people would have thought it's just impossible. And you know, um, Neil Armstrong became a, a Christian man, became a believer in God after that trip because they called Earth from then on the blue planet. He said to look back from the moon and look back at planet Earth. It was just an incredible experience. That's just one little story. In 1976, I became very good friends with this young man when I hope they'll, they'll this image here. And the guy here, this guy here, and the guy in the middle is known to some of you, that chap called Pele, he is the great, known as the greatest football athlete that's ever lived. And then that other young guy with all the hair is me. He <laughs> was 24 years of age there, and uh, I had a perm and they cut it all out in the 70s. If, if you're in the 70s, you had a perm and you cut it all out. <laughs> and that young man there is a South African young man, and his name is Patrick Netzelengen. Known to his friends, known to the nation of South Africa, his nickname was Ace, or Pule, short for Pele. Pele was the greatest player in the world. But in South Africa, Ace was known as Pule, in other words, the South African Pele. And most of you have never heard of him, unless you're from South Africa, you've never have heard of him. But today, in their Hall of Fame in South Africa, he is now known as the greatest South African footballer in all their history. But in his day, 1976, in that time, he came, he lived under what's called apartheid. And because he was a black man, because he had black skin, he never played for his country. He was the greatest footballer they ever had. But he was never allowed to play for his country. Well, let me tell you a true story about me and Ace one day, because we were teammates playing together. 